In this video we will see few things about Outlook Auto Discover file. The Outlook Auto Discover file is saved in the uh, local profile on your Windows computer. So if I go to run, go to the application data, then go to local, Microsoft, Outlook and here we need to enable the hidden items because auto discover file is a hidden file okay so after enabling the hidden items we see the auto discover file for your outlook profile so this file will have all the details about it will have all the endpoints to which your outlook needs to connect to okay now uh, if we delete this file let's say if i do a shift delete okay so now i've deleted the auto discover file now let me run outlook So now I have opened up Outlook. Outlook has connected to Exchange. And we should be able to see the Outlook auto discover file here now. Okay, because when Outlook runs, it uh, downloads the auto discover XML file first. Okay, so as you could see here, the auto discover file has again appeared. Okay, so whenever you open Outlook, it downloads this XML document, and this XML document has all the URLs that it needs to connect to. For example, it connects, it's right now connecting to this URL fetch mailbox information or to fetch your emails okay this is the URL for mail store so this document has a lot of uh, information like what could be the URL for uh, address book uh, for EWS and so on okay also if we want to check if the connection uh, if the outlook is successfully downloading the auto discover file or not there is a built-in tool that microsoft has provided uh, if you see here in system tray press control key and right click Okay, after pressing control key and right click, we get the option as test email auto configuration. So let me open that option. Now here we can check the connectivity to auto discover. So I will remove these two options and I will give, keep only use auto discover. Let me type password okay so as soon as I connect on the option test it does the auto discover lookup uh, tries to find the auto discover file and then downloads it so if I go to log section here I will see it says succeeded and it's all it's also giving me the link for the auto discover dot XML so it has downloaded this XML file from this link if you see this as succeeded that means there is no problem with the auto discover if you do not see here as succeeded that means uh, auto discover fails probably because outlook is not able to reach to the correct url for auto discover okay so this way we can test auto discover connection so that was about auto discover uh, 
the URL that we see here for mail store you can also check here we have another tool called connection status if I click on connection status you will see that uh, Outlook is creating a connection with the URL for the mail store in auto discover so Outlook picks up the URL from this file and then establishes a connection with that URL as you could see here it says connection is established okay so that is about auto discover this way you can troubleshoot the issues with Outlook auto discover